I'm Jessie and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to open this super mega jumbo and extra Posca ball. Try the swatches and make a review of it and just try the colors and see if it's worth the money or not. I'm going to leave a timetable below in case you want to skip forward or backward in the video so that you just watch whatever it is that you're looking for. You don't feel obliged to watch the whole video if you don't want to. So yeah, let's get to it. So what are Posca markers? In case you don't know, Posca markers are paint markers. This means that when they dry, they have an acrylic paint-like finish. So instead of using acrylic paint with a brush, you have more precision with these markers when you paint. I already have a small collection of Posca markers and I use them for making mostly details on my artwork and illustrations, such as like, little highlights or little shining spots and you can even use them for textures like when I'm drawing pearls or jewels they are also really good for color blocking so for example if you want to draw one section of your illustration with just one flat color these are the markers that you could use they dry on the same opacity so you don't have a degradation of the color like you would do in watercolors they do not tend to go more transparent and also the good thing about them is that if you use them it's very unlikely that it will trespass to the other side of the paper. Where do we get postcard markers? You can find it very likely at any art supply store and I'm pretty sure you can find it online as well. Now let's do the unboxing. So as you can see the box is metallic and it's quite sturdy. It has six extra thin point markers, which are the 1MC. It has seven thin markers, which are the 3M. And seven medium markers, which are the 5PM. All the colors are different and the, the tips of the markers are three pretty good sizes. It has some tape here, so I'm gonna take it out. There we go. All the colors are amazing. Okay, so the first thing that I notice about this box is that here are the small point markers. So it's these six, and then it's these three, six, seven that are the middle ones. So right here, and then the rest of them are the big point ones. I think we can take out the this this part where the markers are because it includes like a special edition thing it includes this little pamphlets that feature an artist the cool thing about these boxes in general are that there are like around four boxes each box features a different artist one of them is an origami artist it is a parting artist there's another one that is a street artist it was this one because it had these leopard patterns that i really like <gasps> these are so cute and it's basically so that you try out postcard markers on different media and then it gives you some sheets for you to practice on so this is the first one this is the other one first one is a pink cheetah or leopard and the next one is a giraffe and then this one is a zebra and then this one is another cat thingy so, okay you can actually mix markers i don't recommend mixing postcard markers but to each their own i guess so these are the sheets that it includes i really really like to have like this collection and of course i am more likely to understand the french speaking one because i don't speak dutch so this is the booklet And the cool thing about this booklet is that it really gives you an idea of what you can use the markers for like graffiti, fine art, street art, general hobbies and it shows you like the kind of community that Posca is at 
it gives you like all the effects and how you're supposed to use them according to this you can use them in glass in ceramics in plastic in metal in paper in cardboard in rock in wood different kinds of metal and other plastics as well as textile and ceramics i know that you can use these on textiles as well you would probably have to have some kind of fixative at the end so that it doesn't really damage textile that you wouldn't generally wash maybe like for shoes that are textile like and such and it also includes other fe featuring artists for you to get inspired on as well as all the points that it has so we're gonna try this big one and two of the middle ones because i don't see any more pink on the small ones but we're gonna try the purple there we go we're gonna try these these four well there's the first one there we go. There is the second one. The middle ones. So there we go. We have all the colors now. This is very, very neon. Uh -huh. Okay, you guys. There we go. That is our first color. It's not as neon as I thought that it would be, which is really nice because I was thinking like, if I only have neon colors, that's not really in my color palette. So I'm kind of worried that I'm not gonna use them as much, but it is actually a usable color. That is the second color. I really like this range of pinks. Here is the third color. <gasps> These pinks are so cute. They're very like usable pinks, you know? They're not just ugly pinks. That purple one. Can you guys see? Ah, you see how the color was popping out? Okay, here is the next one. What shall we draw? I'm gonna draw a little boot. So I'm gonna draw a pretty boot. Kind of like a cowgirl kind of boot. This one is really thick, but it's still... Like the marker is really thick, but it's still kind of easy to paint with. Like it's still easy to handle. Now we're gonna use the middle colors. I'm gonna draw a nail polish because I just did my nails today kind of ruined by now but it is what it is so this is a marker a postcard marker that i already had but it's just for the sake of making this illustration because i always paint with really fine black now we're gonna draw a couple of flowers i really think that that this is a good box to have as a gift if you want to give it to yourself or give it to somebody else because it has like a white range of colors like the colors really do not disappoint so that it's kind of nice and i really like that the box is really sturdy because that way you can just keep all your markers organized into one single box so as i said before i don't really recommend mixing colors with the posca markers that is my personal opinion you can do whatever you want I would also really recommend if you end up buying this box for you to check into the other artist boxes just because there are different designs and the colors might vary slightly so just so that you are sure of which color box to buy. And I'm gonna show you here how with postcard markers, usually you can use them on top of each other. You might need to do more than one layer, but I feel like it's easier to use than normal acrylic because you have more control as into where exactly you're gonna paint. See what I did there? I used the same white on the paper to just hide it as if it was the actual paper.
we're gonna do one more little sketch. Do this clock. And that's it! Thank you guys for watching this unboxing and review on Posca markers. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe to my channel for future art product reviews. And I will see you very very soon! Bye bye!